Hello, this is Richard Earhart, small ruminant specialist at Michigan State University. I'm here to present a special project in partnership with Premier One Supplies in Washington, Iowa, that will introduce you to accelerated lamb production. This project was sponsored by the American Sheep Industries Let's Grow Fund. To learn more about accelerated production, we visited four progressive farms located in different parts of the country. These included central New York, south central Michigan, northwest Iowa, and southwest Kansas. In accelerated production, the birth in interval of an individual ewe is reduced to less than a year, most typically down to about eight months as, sh as profiled in most of the farms that we interviewed. This would allow for usually three birth periods per year. Oh, this can be modified. One of the farms uh, actually had six lambing periods per year, again, with ewes on approximately an eighth month birth cycle. With accelerated production, you get a consistent supply of lambs throughout the year. This allows a farm to build markets. Well, the market, the market is the, you know, what pushed us to do it. And, you know, we started out as a grass-based system. And, you know, at that point, you could only sell your lambs in the fall. And we just developed some good markets where they wanted these baby lambs or it, did, it didn't even have to be babies. It, it was any lamb all year round. And, you know, so the demand was there and we just needed to come up with the supply and, and the consistency. With our year round supply of lambs now, that's, that's key to marketing um, their year round product. I mean, uh, people call and, and you start building their reputation that you're going to have lambs for them good quality lambs and we get a lot of repeat people you know inquiring uh, if you don't have them when are you going to have them type of a attitude for, for sale wise we're probably nine months out of the year we can sell a load of lambs about every two weeks okay. and then probably <laughs> three months out of the year from as soon as these are gone in another three weeks there'll be a gap until our fall lambs are ready from then on, it will be pretty steady the rest of the year. Accelerated production also allows a lot of flexibility in marketing to hit the huge diversity of lamb markets that we see in the United States. So we market our lambs. We look at it as we can sell that lamb the first day of weaning. So if that lamb's 40 pounds, you know, we do have markets for 40 pound lambs. The What's really worked out great with lambing six times a year is the flexibility. You know, if, if we can move some hothouse lambs, great. If not, we have, we have outlets across, you know, the East Coast where we can take, we can sell lamb at any weight. That's the benefit of what we do. Because you are marketing throughout the year with accelerated production, you lower your risk and you get much more consistent cash flow. I think it takes the risk out of your system because you're not relying on one breeding period or one lambing period to to give you a lamb crop. You have your multiple multiple chances to to uh, to to have steady income, and uh, that's what I see is it just uh, spreads the risk out. So. Um how does that help a farm business having lambs to sell every month of the year? It helps the cash flow immensely. You have a you have income coming in year round from sheep enterprise rather than just having one or two sale points. We have a, a check pretty often. With the year round supply that you get with accelerated production, you get much more efficient use of your facilities and of your labor resource. Part of that is uh, utilization of the facilities. Like you mentioned, we have 850 ewes, and so we're able to use our lambing barn for at least five different periods uh, during the year. And we're able to use even our feeding facilities, our lamb treat channels, our lamb treat feeders, uh, for more than just one time during the year. It really helps on the facilities, uh, the labor too. I mean, we're where we can only lamb around 300 ewes at once, 325, and we have 
getting close to 700 views in the flock, well, you're not lambing them all at the same time. You're you're splitting them up somewhat. That lets your labor be a little more efficient. Uh, uh, so it, it does help on your facility costs, I think, and, sure. and uh, to, to spread that out. The higher productivity of accelerated production, approaching three, sometimes even more lambs per ewe per year, allows much higher returns on high value agricultural land as agricultural land prices continue to escalate throughout the United States. In our area, land has been selling uh, 10 to 12,000 to $20,000 an acre. So we don't feel this is the kind of land that we can be pasturing and we can raise on that land um, you know, 25 to 30 ton of corn silage and that will feed a lot of you. So that's, that's kind of uh, feeding wise where we are. Yep. When considering the keys to success in accelerated production, an important one is to meet the nutritional needs of a highly productive flock. Remember that accelerated views are in a productive state a greater proportion of the time and therefore have to be fed accordingly. When we went to this system, you're putting the ewes under more nutritional stress, so your quality of feed needs to be better, and and it's it you're you're really never feeding for a maintenance period. You're always in a productive uh, type of period. Either you're you're bringing ewes up after lambing uh, for the next breeding period. Uh, you're never really in a maintenance, so the requirements are higher. But in our area, we're blessed with abundant uh, forages as far as either irrigated or in some cases dry land, we, we have a availability of good feed in this area. One of the things we, well, even years ago, we noted is that the thin ewes probably didn't breed up as well as the ewes that were in better condition. And so we try to make sure that uh, the ewes are, are being fed well all year, really, mm -hmm. just, just to keep them on, on schedule with the program. Uh, Another key to success with accelerated production is to choose a location with the right kind of feed resources to meet the needs of the highly productive flock. And also to create facilities that allow you and the sheep to lamb comfortably year round, even during poor weather. Yeah, I think it's just, you know, identifying the location where you could have a good feed source. Um, you know, put some time and effort and on how you want to set your facility up and don't you know don't put yourself in a corner you know these the barns we built here we can always add on either way um, and you know just identify I think probably the most important piece to this if somebody was getting started is go around and tour some different facilities and identify one person that you think you could do a good job with and start with his breeding stock. Um, that's one of the biggest mistakes we made was going out and buying, you know, we had, a, we had to have a thousand ewes. Well, we should have probably been a little more careful on that aspect of bringing so many sheep together. Um, so just identifying that person you have a lot of trust and confidence in with, with what they're doing as far as management and environment. Another key to success with accelerated production is the use of genetics that have both the capacity for out-of-season breeding and that are also very prolific. Now, as far as out-of-season breeding is concerned, that's a little bit more of a challenge for selection because at this point, there are not estimated uh, values for genetic merit that you can use in your selection program. So producers often have to rely on uh, ram breeders who record uh, the out-of-season breeding success over time. And they look for a long history of out-of-season breeding success within a particular sire line to find those that it really excel. Genetics play a part and, and maybe not so much breed, but even individual genetics. And so we're trying to propagate the, the horn under our management. So, we, uh, we keep our own maternal lab, and then part of that, the reason that we do that would be just to uh, select for the out-of-season breeding. So rams that are used uh, to produce females are kept out of mothers who have 
not only performed on the accelerated landing, but have continued to, to stay on schedule. And along with that, we, of course, would keep RAM.us that have been uh, uh, productive also, you know, use it as said multiple. Multiple bursts out of season. Yeah, and and okay. got to have an affordable feed source, number one. Um, you get, you got to have good facilities. And you got to have good labor. You got to have good management. And I think with all those things, um, you know, genetics. So it's a it's a lot of different things that I make it work. It's not just one thing that makes this farm turn every day. And finally, because accelerated production, at least its adoption, is relatively recent in the United States and other parts of the world, it's important to get advice from other farmers who are doing this program talk to experienced producers, ask a lot of questions, and be willing to change and adopt new technologies and uh, new, new methods to improve production efficiency. Take advantage of all the information out there. We're fortunate we're uh, close to MSU and uh, take advantage of that a lot uh, as far as guidance and who to talk to and how to do some things. And, don't be afraid to ask those questions that you think might um, not be an intelligent question, but it's one that if you're thinking about it, probably everybody else in the room is too. So uh, surround yourself with good information, and, and uh, yeah. go, that's pretty key. Go look at other operations that are doing it. Take some tours with groups. Ask a lot of questions. Thank you for your interest in this program, which introduced you to accelerated land production mm -hmm giving you a sense of the basics of this production system, and also giving you some keys to success as described by four progressive producers. Stay tuned for future programs with these uh, four progressive producers as they describe the keys to making the system work in their particular area. Again, we'd like to thank the American Sheep Industry, and in particular, the Let's Grow Fund for funding this work. Thank you.